Hey guys, happy Halloween. If you celebrate, if you don't, uh, enjoy some spider webs on my face. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is CJ and I post makeup content here on YouTube. This video is gonna be all over the place because I have not filmed because um, I have a glass of wine right here and because it's Halloween. And I think my brother was saying it's like the first blue moon Halloween. I'm like, of course, because 2020 couldn't get any spookier. But it's okay. It's all right. So today I'm doing my October favorites and fails. And I'm actually really excited because I never do these on time. And oh my gosh, I can do them on time. And because I'm actually incredibly proud of myself for these little freaking spider webs. Okay. I thought this was not going to work, but it did. So... If you can just appreciate the effort real quick, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. And I don't have that incredibly much to talk about, um, just cause I don't. So hopefully it probably won't because this is me we're talking about and I blab. Um, but hopefully this video might be a little bit on the shorter side. Probably won't be though. So that's okay. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is, I'll go ahead and just get this out of the way. I talked about this in my most recent video, which was my uh, curly girl, wavy girl method thing. And this is the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Uh, it's in three. I don't know if they have like a bunch of levels, but this is three strong all day humidity protection and frizz control. So I love this. First of all, it's like three dollars. So that's awesome. But anyway, I was, I've been trying to get like into the curly wavy girl method. I'm not going to go too into it because I did go into it in that video, but I will say this stuff is really awesome. It's recommended on Pinterest and blogs all the time for a freaking reason. It's so good. Um, it does leave my hair be honest. I think beautifully curled. I love how it looks. This is like fourth day hair. So that's why it looks like and because it's Halloween. But anyway, um, I love how this makes my hair look. Um, if you put too much in, it can get that little crunchy thing, but all you really have to do is kind of like, like rub the strands between your fingers and it'll go away, but it does handle curl. Like it keeps your curls curled all day like and I don't use hairspray like this is base I use this and like a few other things before I use this but this is my last step and I'm obsessed with it I love it it's so good it's so inexpensive if you're trying to do like the wavy curly whatever thing you won't be disappointed I hope you won't be but I really don't think Okay, so next that I'm going to talk about is this. This is the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face Face Palette. So I got this in my October BoxyCharm. It looks like this. It's a little face palette. Um, I filmed my October BoxyCharm video, but the video wasn't great because the box honestly wasn't great. Like the only things that I liked out of there was this and then a face wash. That's not that interesting a video. So um, I didn't post it, but I did get this out of the box. And at first, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I do not like when brands come out with one fits all face palettes. I'm pretty sure this isn't like the light of a series. I think this is just like the one and done. I will look it up once I'm done filming this video and I'll put it right here if I'm wrong. I don't think I am because it doesn't say light anywhere on here. So I think this is like honestly just a one and done supposed to fit every freaking face in the world, which that's stupid. It's not, but it does fit mine. So I don't know if they sent this to subscribers who have like a darker complexion than me. And if they did, like if they were offended or whatever, because this would not, I feel like this could fit maybe like a few people a little bit deeper than me, but anything more like medium deep now. But anyway, so I'm not going to go all into that. Okay. But I will say this glimmer of BS shade is a incredibly beautiful highlighter. It is pretty gleaming. Like it is a highlighter. Like it's not my everyday essence, pure nude highlighter, but it is gorgeous like it's a little bit more than or it's a decent bit more like bam than that but like not in an over the top way you know what I mean I love this highlighter and the main reason I'm mentioning it this palette is because of this shade the son of a bee shade I am obsessed 
okay it's the bronzer that i'm wearing today i have like a contour shade on also that i'll mention later but this shade is just a godsend because it's not orange it's more of like a yellowish tone it's such a good contour shade for people like it's a good contour bronzer shade it's not just a bronzer it's not just a contour like it's there's like it's that perfect little medium so i have been obsessed with this because i've been running late to work a lot recently because i've not, not been sleeping uh but anyway this is such a good actual one and done palette for me i think a lot of brands try to come up with like one and done palettes i don't know if this is this i don't think was marketed as a one and done thing but i will say what i do is i use this as a highlight i use this as a bronzer i use this on my jawline because i have like five chins so i use that there then i also use this in the crease this on the lid if i'm feeling funky if i'm running super super late i don't use anything on the lid just that in the crease the blushes aren't my favorite sometimes if i'm running super super late i'll mix the two together but i don't really like either of them on their own especially this mirror i think this is like the one shade i could just totally do without but the two of them together really aren't bad i do like this hush blush shade but it's like one it's my least favorite part of the palette i still like them but like comparatively to the other things and then this ego shade right here is freaking beautiful if you like spritz it with a thing like with spray and then like put it on your lid it is glistening oh it's beautiful i love this thing i'm not gonna lie next is my little uh it's not my pride and joy but it's very close it's very close this is the pure x robbie b christie or not x if you that offend that's i think some people get pissed but the pure by raw beauty christie palette I have a whole video up about it. I'm not going to harp along. I'll put the video right there. It's just beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is like an all pressed pigment palette, but it's just so good. I use this. If I have time in the mornings, this is what I'm reaching for. Okay. If I'm doing like a supernatural look for wear on camera, this is what I'm using. I think I, I think this is the palette that I used in my hair one. Yeah, it was. Okay, so the look that I had in my last video, my hair video, it, I used this palette. It was recreating like a look Raw Beauty Kirstie had done using this palette on her channel and I just redid it. And uh, yeah, I really like how it looked. Um, and then, to, oh, this white shade, Lumos. I will say most white shades and palettes like this are freaking throwaways. They're garbage. Don't use them. This one is not, this one is so, so, so good. I used this the other day when I was like, I've been trying to like get really good at like Halloween makeup. And so I was like drawing a skull on my face. This is actually a really good white. The purple I have on my lid right now, don't completely judge it because I have another palette that I don't really like. Well, I thought I liked it, but then I used the purples and I was like, okay, this isn't that great. But the purple that's not super patchy is this purple because it's really, really good. But all the shades in this, like I haven't used a shade in here that I didn't like. I will say the shimmers are not like the most opaque shimmery shimmers, but I'm not a huge shimmer person anyway, so that doesn't bother me. Uh, so if you, I don't know, are they still in restock? I don't know if you can still get your hands on this because they were doing like a limited edition. It was like it's limited edition. You can still get your hands on it. I'll link it below. If not, I'm sorry for mentioning it. I don't mean to make you sad, but it is a really good palette. And I'm really glad that I got it. Okay. Uh, mentioning the Halloween esque makeup thing. So I have figured out recently that putting uh, crazy makeup on my face makes me feel a little bit better about my life. So I've been doing that a lot. And when it comes to like Halloween makeup, costume makeup, you use a lot of black. And this by far is the best actual black that I've tried. This is in the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette. I don't think I've ever mentioned this palette on my channel. I know I've mentioned the Baked Browns one because I have that one as well. But just the formula of these is so it's impeccable like it's so good and so obviously all these colors in here are gorgeous but this one you can barely see on camera because it's so black this is the one i'm going to talk about this black is gorgeous it is the most opaque black i have ever used in my life you can like i used it with my finger on my eyelid but i will say using your finger for this is just the best oh my god it's such a good black it's so good like it's just it's the best black that i have ever used all these other shades are absolutely gorgeous but i'm 
in particular mentioning this black shade because I've been using it a lot recently and it's the one black in my collection. I have a few, but this is the one like I will get another palette out to use during that makeup look even if I'm using another palette that has a black in it I don't care I'm still gonna get this out of my thing and you know use it so it's really really good the next is this little Fenty match stick in almond this I only use it every day like I don't use it when I'm on camera because it's a very unassuming color but what I use this for and why I freaking love this is I use this for a nose contour every day, which I know doing a nose contour every single day is a little bit much, but you know, we all have our thing, but this is the color and what I do, even when I'm running super late, this is the quickest thing to use because like, I don't know what it is about the shape of this or like the grip, but it's a perfect thing just to go like two lines down the center of your nose to contour and then go over it with a brush really quick and then you're good and it's not so deep or like overpowering that like you have to like really work at blending it you just like at least for my skin tone um if you get the right shade for you like a shade like this for me or you know whatever vice versa whatever works for you just like it blends out so quickly and I just have to like tap 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 and then I'm done and that's it and it lasts all day it's beautiful it's a very natural nose contour for me this isn't something that I use on camera because on camera you know if I have like a light right here and so it will and this doesn't really pick up with the light but on an everyday basis which I really want to film a video coming up soon of me like in natural light like what uh Robert Walsh does a lot I want to do that like of my updated everyday makeup routine and this is something I honestly I use it every single day I love this thing it's so good I have three more things and then my epic fail <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is this blink black lash primer I got this out of boxycharm months ago like months ago and it's been in my drawer and I'm just never the person who like lashes are my least favorite thing to do but for me and my tiny little eyeballs there it's the thing that makes the biggest difference and so I've been playing with a lot of makeup recently and I saw this and I was like oh let me try it again this I don't know exactly what it does for fullness or anything like that or length but if you want your lashes to stay curled, this is what you need. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about this. Every single day I wear my Essence Lash Princess Mascara on my upper lashes. On my bottom, I just use like a, like a skinny little one that doesn't smudge, but the wand's not big. But um, every single day I wear Essence Lash Princess. And regardless of how I do my mascara, if I curl it first and do the mascara and then just leave or if I like curl it before do mascara curl it after and then just like it's gonna fall within like the middle of the day it's gonna fall but if I put this into the mix it is curled all day it is curled more when I leave my house in the morning like 10 minutes after I've done my makeup than it will be if I'm just doing mascara like I don't know what it is about this you really don't need to use a lot I like to coat just the very base of my lashes and maybe push it up just a little bit but it keeps your lashes curled like I have never experienced in my single like in my life in my, in my life like I've never experienced something quite like this as I said it's not it's not like the most it doesn't like thicken anything I don't like it's it just says jet black volume. I don't think it really does anything for volume. I guess it just depends on what mascara you're putting on over it. But I will say for curlage, and I don't think Blink is very expensive either, but this is so good. I use it now, like after that one time I tried it, I use this every freaking morning, every freaking morning. And it, my lashes stay curled. Like I've gotten compliments on my eyelashes since using this. And that's a big deal. Like if you have small eyes and like, you know that your lashes are the one thing that make you look awake and like a human and people are complimenting you on your lashes and you're just like, oh, that's this. There you go. Okay, uh, the next thing is by e.l.f. It is this Wow Brow. It's just Wow Brow. It's just like a brow setter thing. It has fibers in it. I got mine in the shade uh, Natural Brown. 
I freaking love this thing. Okay, so it's one of the main reasons I love, like, that's not going to do anything for you. I don't know why I did that, but um, one of the main reasons I love this is because it's not, it's more of like a drier formula, like a moussier formula. One that I've been trying to use for like almost a year now, but just cannot get on to is this, uh, it's this one. It's by Soap and Glory, and it's the Archer Volume Boost Sprout. This one comes out so wet and so opaque. Like this, I can screw up my eyebrows in 2.5 seconds. Quicker than that, honestly. Like, I mean, I'll put it on and just get, it gets everywhere. Like it gets under here, it gets up there. Cause it's just so wet and opaque and it just goes everywhere. I have not once had an issue with this getting too far. It, something about it, I don't, if it's the, I think it's like a combination of the brush and the formula. It just, it really adheres to your brows and not to your skin. Like, I mean, you just, and it holds it all day. Like it's not, I've been using this in the Milk Makeup Kush clear brow one and I honestly think I like this one more because the clear one like kind of I think picks up the pigment from my eyebrow pencil this one does not at all and the color is really good it's just like a really it's the perfect natural brow thing because it's not super pigmented but it's there's still pigment to it so it's still going to give you a little bit of a boost but it's not going to be so much to where you just look instagram brow from 20 11 or whatever you know like the it just it's so good i love it's such it's so good for like a natural day or just every day it's i love it i love it okay and the last thing i'm going to talk about is it's this is very new to me i've used this like four times now but i am obsessed so i placed an order on yes style which is the website where you can get like korean japanese beauty i mean they have like american beauty i think they have chinese beauty on there as well but you can get a lot of japanese stuff or in Korean stuff, just stuff you can't really access here in the States. And so I got this. It is by Misha and it is their cotton contour in smoked hazel. It's a contour shade and it, it is my perfect contour shade. I have had such an issue, even with cream bronzers or cream contours, of finding something that is not too orange that is. It, that does what a contour is supposed to do, which is create a shadow, not a bronze, but a shadow. So I mean, it's talking, I'm talking about like something cool toned that looks like a shadow basically to make myself look like I have actual cheekbones and not just cheek fat, okay? And this is perfect. So again, I'm, I don't, if, I think this is like a South Korean brand. So obviously their shade selection is garbage. Like I think this is like one of the darkest shades. This. But I will say for someone who is incredibly pale, like myself, love this. Oh my God. First of all, the formula is impeccable. You can, it's not incredibly pigmented, so you can build it up, but you do definitely see something upon like first application. Like you definitely, there's definitely something there to work with. And then it just blends out so beautifully. I haven't used, this is what I have on my nose right now for my nose contour. I have it underneath that one bronzer that I mentioned earlier, the one that little face palette. I have that underneath it as a contour, but this is just the perfect contour shade for me. So if you are somewhere near my skin tone, maybe a hint darker, it's the shade Smoked Hazel. They have a bunch of, like they don't have a bunch, they have like five or six shades. Um, this I'm pretty sure is like one of the darker ones, but I will say even if you're fairer than I am, you can probably find something on here. So it sucks because it's really not convenient for people of deep skin tones, but I will say for fair people who have a really hard time finding like a really good contour shade, Yes Style and this one in particular is so good. Oh my God. All right. Okay. Last thing I have to talk about is my fail for the month. I could have sworn I had another fail. Guess not. Anyway, this is my fail for the month. This is the freaking Milani Make It Last Sunscreen Setting Spray. Uh, again, I don't, I mentioned it in one of my past videos. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> if you want to smell like a crazy cat lady who lets her cats urinate all over her, you, can, you should go pick this up. 
So I got this simply because I love the Milani Make It Last Spray, the normal one. Uh, I've not tried the dewy one because I have oily skin, it's just not my jam. But uh, they, the store was out of it and I was like, oh, this has sunscreen in it. My pale ass is like super into sunscreen because, you know, damage and aging and stuff. So uh, I saw this, I was like, oh, what harm can that do? It has sunscreen in it, cool, whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> I mentioned this in the video that I mentioned this in. I just kind of mentioned this as like a teaser for this video, but... Um, so the first day that I used this was for my little brother's housewarming party. My little brother, who is only 21 years old, purchased a home with his girlfriend and his dog and now puppy. It was the cutest, most happiest of days. I made them corn dip and like it was so much fun. This ruined the day. This, this freaking setting spray ruined my day because I sprayed it using it because I'm like, okay, I'm going to be at a party. I'm going to be outdoors. Like I'm, I've got to set my face, you know, and this was all I had because I'd run out and this was the only thing that the store had. Um, and I just, I smelled like straight up cat piss for the rest of the day. My boyfriend could smell it. My mother could smell it an hour later when we got to my brother's house. This is garbage. Do not buy this unless you enjoy the scent of cat urine, which if so, I don't know who hurt you in your life, but no, I'm just kidding. That's rude. But I'm just saying this, mm -mm, I don't know if I got a dud, but even if I did, and this is a dud, even if it had like a third of the scent of this, still, still, it's terrible. Oh my God. Like, I don't care if this sets your face for five days in a row, which you shouldn't be wearing makeup five days in a row, but you know what I mean? I just, this, oh my God, do not buy this. And that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and maybe edit this and get it up today. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to end this video. I don't want to drag out the ending too much. Uh, go vote if you haven't already. Voting day is this upcoming Tuesday. It's currently Saturday. Go vote on Tuesday. Okay. If you weren't able to early vote, I wasn't. So I'm going to go Tuesday before work. Just, it's so important. You guys just do it. Just freaking do it. Okay. And then, um, happy Halloween again. If you celebrate, um, if you do celebrate, please be socially distant. Okay. Like just be careful, please. We're still not out of the woods with this whole COVID thing. I know no one wants to talk about it and they're, you know, no one wants to mention that people are still dying and it's still like this huge big thing, but it is. So let's just handle it, okay? Stay home or stay six feet apart. It's really not that difficult. Wear a mask, not that difficult. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you stick around. I hope to be back to posting basically a video a week like I try to do, but please be informed. Like I do try to post very regularly, but also I am 27 years old. I have three dogs. I own a home. I work a 40 hour a week job. It's really hard to post videos and edit them for once a week. Okay. I'm just gonna say, but I'm sorry. But yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, and please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.